Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Art the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we pr we, we said our goodbyes to the Gons, and we made our way back here, all discovering that Park, or no, that Karg can use magic. And upon getting back here, Paulette was not very happy that we were paying paying special attention to Nafia. I guess someone's used to being being the one female Smurf in the village. No wait, it's not Nafia we were escorting back. It was Lydia, I think. Ah, it is the Smurfette Principle. Or, I guess in, to put it in Billy and Mandy terms, the female schlub principle. Just like the Highlander, there can be only one. Unless you count, count Nafia. Oh, you would be surprised, little boy. You would be very surprised. I mean, just look at Courtney Love and Meg Ryan. Hell yeah, we did! It wasn't that hard, we just had to obscure an, an underdeveloped AI's path, and we just had to be at the right levels and have the right skills. Only fools rush into such a situation. I'm guessing you heard what the other NPC said. It's a little unusual in an RPG, but okay. Don't you mean, like, this evening? I mean, that sounds like the more appropriate terminology here. Just saying, I mean, I, I hate to be a member of the Dillsweld Army's grammar division, but... Better language... There is better language you could have used. oven mitts, preferably on both hands. Safety begins with you and me. This is, I think, how it, a saying involving safety goes. Uh, some 
what I was going for, but okay. I wanted... I can talk to the fishermen later. Madam, I suggest you... I strongly suggest you knock on wood. For the good of everyone here. Especially Mr. Kitty. Or Miss Kitty. I don't know. I don't know what their gender is. If anything were to happen to that cat, I would murder the entire Dillsweld army. Down to the last man, woman, and child. My dear, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Now that I've gotten that bit of shameless whoring myself out, out of the way. Very dated internet meme. here that has a portrait to go or er, to go with his dialogue and some voice lines him being a special not just the special is probably a given see the kitty. Let me just drop all gender pronouns entirely when it comes to the kitty. I'm just gonna do that. And hopefully remember to do that. Pretty sure I know what our next move will be. He, to quote Brad Pitt of Inglorious Bastards, our next move will probably involve killing Nazis. Well, Nazis by another name. can wait. I must report my findings to the kitty. Well, and probably make some crumpled up paper balls for it to play with. It looks so cute playing with them like a little tiny furry David Beckham.
Um, I don't think Paulette being jealous of the new girl is a sign that everything is fine. Rather, I think this is a borderline powder keg ready to go off. And you have every right to be concerned, Kitty. I didn't even know there was rumors of a phantom in Isubo Forest, but that's probably because as I didn't do a dialogue check with all the townspeople before leaving. And that is my fault. That's on me. easily imagine her doing that. She's kind of not happy about not there being another pretty face in the village. citizen. You go and... Oh. You go and be in Paulette's corner. As will I. Even though I technically can't due to me controlling Karg and all that and having a limited amount of influence over his decisions. But yeah, the new girl thing is... It's just, it's temporary. Paulette doesn't realize that, and that's not her fault. Poor girl. Hope she can keep it together.
And here's where I'll end the episode and continue this, or rather begin the search for Lilia in the next one. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content.